Moving along these sort of bottom options, let's unlink those um, layers. There are a few different things down here that we're going to, to check out. One is this effects option. So you pr don't see it um, because the bottom of my screen is a little bit cut off, but if I scroll down or if you open it, you can see these um, different sort of effects. We'll go into these uh, in more depth in a future section, but just know that this is an option to get to these effects. You can also double click a layer and this opens up this layer style panel and you have these effects as well. So say we want to add a drop shadow to our elephant. It's kind of hard for you to see, but if we make this uh, move this over to the side, you can kind of see that our elephant now has a shadow behind it. If we turn this on and off, you can see it a little bit more and you can adjust all the settings here as well. Um, by clicking on that option and then adjusting the settings. Now, we're gonna go into these in more deep detail later on, but that effects button is where you get access to those. We're gonna skip over this layer mask button right there to the create new fill or adjustment layer button, which is the circle one. And again, if you scroll down, we used the solid color layer before but you have all sorts of different adjustments. For example, if we go to brightness and contrast, you'll see that it adds this layer on top of the elephant layer. And so depending on where, what layer you had selected originally, if you create an adjustment layer, it will go above that layer. You could always move these up or down though. And then you have your options pop open for the adjustment layer. So see, we can now increase the contrast, decrease the bright brightness, and that's just affecting what's underneath it. So if we move this up, you can see that it's now affecting everything underneath it, depending on where it is. I often like to put the layer properties up here in this little window right here. If you have enough space, it just makes it a little bit easier to, to open up rather than opening up over your actual canvas. Um, so, or you, we can put it up here in front or in this tab with color and we'll still have room for our, our layer panel to be a little bit bigger down here. Now I do wanna show you that you can add these layer adjustments from the layer menu. So if you go layer, new adjustment layer, you'll see these options up here. It's just another way to get to them. So like always, <laughs> I keep saying, we're gonna dive into these things later on, but I just wanted to make you aware of wh what these options are down here. In the next lesson, we're gonna be diving into this vector mask or layer mask button, and I'll show you what that's all about. Cheers.